Mary Meet Annie here. Spoiler alert. This vlog is going to be nowhere near as heavy as its title might indicate. Signs and portents. For my personal meditations for today, I have the following poem on today's page. It's called A Sign, and it's by Norma Ketsis Bernstock. I don't know where I originally got the poem, although I seem to recall it was from a book of nature poetry. Here's Norma's poem. On a pea soup morning, and I stroll on the trails, and I notice the ducks floating in formation, their black shapes silhouetted against snow white fog. I have the feeling that if I could sail above the water, I would see spelled out a message so purposeful are their positions. A message meant only for me, directions for the rest of my life. I love that poem. Just beneath the poem on today's page is a note that says to me, get your runes and go into the woods. I swear each year I look at those words, I, I'm mystified as to what they mean, even though obviously I wrote them. And then I remember the trees have runes in them. We all have our favorite things to do, which provide us with our tiny and sometimes vast divinations in life. Those things might be sophisticated as tarot meetings, as tarot readings might be considered. They might also be as simple as looking to the shapes of the clouds for insight. One of my favorite things is to take my runes to the woods. Who knows why I then confuse myself each year when I read that instruction in my journal. Here's how you might consider doing rune work late in the season of Samhain. Grab your bag of runes, go into the woods. <laughs> yeah, you probably were thinking it was going to start that way. But then, settle down where you have a good view of trees and they're mostly barren branches. That's why this is akin to this time of the year. I like to find a place where I can not just see around me, but look up and into overhanging branches. And then, according to your knowledge of the runes and whatever strikes your fancy, here are a couple of options. If you know the shape and form of runes well, look into your branches to see if a rune shape reveals itself to you. And the first one you find will be your rune of the day. But, well, that's a bit easy for those of us who can show off because, well, we can recall all the shapes of the runes. Oh, ye, who can do that? Seriously, here's to you. But some of us, well, we don't have brains that have a catalog of all the runes easily at hand. And the way you take time to do this, if you're my kind of lover of the runes, and can't always summon every single one of them up in my mind, draw a rune from your bag, and then seek it out in the branches that surround you. Well, if you're lucky, you won't find it. Honestly, if you're lucky, you won't find it because then you'll spend more time searching for the second rune you pull out and see if you can find that one. Nothing wrong with extending every moment we spend in nature. I've had times when the first rune jumped out from a tree to me. <laughs> Other times it's been a slow and yet a very comforting progress. I've had to pull more than one, sometimes several runes before I could see one of their shapes in the limbs and branches around me. And if you want to add this, once you have your tree reinforced rune of the day, do a little xylomancy, that being the interpretation of falling twigs and branches. Instead of looking up and around in your surroundings, look down. Look for shapes in the fallen twigs and branches that support the rune you have selected. The season of Samhain is the season where our divinatory work is personal in nature. And thus, extremely, and thus extremely powerful. It's really not about working for others, if you follow the season the way I do, not at this time of the year. It's about gaining insight personally. And what better way to do that than by spending time in the woods. And if you don't have access to a safe, safe walk in the woods, do it with one tree you find in your neighborhood. Or, <laughs> welcome, to the new age, Google pictures of tree limbs, like I did to find the thumbnail for this post. I wish you all mirth and reverence, 
in the season of Samhain. Merry part.